Hey guys, if you're like me, you're gonna take advantage of free flowers. Living near this stream right here, we get washed down and they spread. You can see them here in the background and there's some right here. I'm gonna dig some up and let you see them. Those orange daylilies. So let's dig a few of these up and then we'll transplant them. But I want you to see what they look like right here. Let's see, here's a few of them. We'll turn them up, shake this loose. I don't want to remove all the dirt, but uh, here they are. And you can see they have a very extensive root system. They're easy to transplant and they spread well. Free flowers, guys. roots on these things and you can see the tiny little bulbs on the bottom I can bring that up a little bit so we're gonna leave some dirt clinging to that It'll help us to get them started reestablished Big old Alright, so yeah, let me shake a lot of this out. Leave some of these roots there. Let's take a clump of these. Look at that pile. Alright, now we're gonna go over here and get some of these Easter lilies that are growing. Let me see where I saw them. Yeah, we got plenty of Easter lilies growing right here. So around this scrap pile, we got some growing right here. All right, so let's dig up some of these, what I think are uh, the Easter lilies. I believe that's what these are. Make sure I get underneath them and you're not cutting them off. Okay. Here you can see they don't have the quite the root system that the others do, but uh, they do still have a little bulb down there. So we're going to take some of these. Here's a single one right here. And we're going to plant bunch of these in a planter so that we can enjoy them inside and then we'll later put them back on the ground at a different time. Let's get several of these. Turn that back up. There we go. Now let's go take these, put them in a pot. Got my flowers here. Two types of lilies. I put some uh, pretty good topsoil down in here. Now I'm going to go to my compost pile over here and add some of that once I get these in here. Put them in there, and again, this looks like a lot, but uh, they're just going to be in there for a short time. We'll make sure we get plenty of soil around them. These as well. Push them down in there. Oh, that is cold. So we want to make sure we get plenty of 
cupboards for these so they're not left with a dry root. I'm going to dust up some of this soil. Now, if you cover it up a little bit with it being this early, they still will come through there. They'll come up through that soil. Had some over there come up uh, through a box that I had some uh, walnuts. I had a cardboard box that had walnuts in it from the fall, and they come up through it. Now I'm going to get some of this. Nice and dark and rich, you can see that. And I'm going to cover a little bit more. And again, they will, you get these covered, they'll still come a through the water in here. But that green, it'll soak a lot of that up. And the excess, of course, got to have holes in the bottom. But there you go. Within a month, you'll be able to enjoy that. Uh, put that in your sunroom or even in your house. You put something underneath it to collect the water. Classroom. Great idea for the classroom. Let the kids see the lilies come to life.